Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Canvas. In this video, we are going to discuss calculation of CFSC in tetrahedral complexes. In this, I'll take you through the following points. What is CFSC? Formula for calculating CFSC in tetrahedral complexes. Calculation of CFSC of tetrahedral complexes with d1 to d10 electrons. And finally, we will do some exercise. Crystal field stabilization energy of a complex, which is abbreviated as CFSE, is the sum of energies of all the d electrons in a metal ion. For the metal ion in a tetrahedral complex with the electronic configuration EGX T to GY, CFSC will be x into minus 0.6 delta t plus y into 0.4 delta t where x is the number of electrons in eg orbitals and y is the number of electrons in t to g orbitals this is d orbital splitting diagram in a tetrahedral complex for more details about how the splitting of d orbitals in tetrahedral complex occur, I have made a separate video. The link for the same is given in the description box of this video. Or you can also find by clicking on I button. If there is one electron in the metal ion, in a spherical field environment, the electron will be here. In tetrahedral field, this electron will be in EG orbital. So, x is equal to 1 and there is no electron in T to G orbital. So, y is equal to 0. Now, we will put these values in this equation. So, CFSC is equal to 1 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 0 into plus 0 0.4 delta t or CFSC will be equal to minus 0 0.6 delta t. If there are two d electrons in the metal ion, in a spherical field environment, the electrons will be here. In tetrahedral field, both the electrons will be in eg orbitals so x is equal to 2 there is no electron in t2g orbital so y is equal to 0 so cfsc will be equal to 2 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 0 into plus 0 0.4 delta t thus cfsc will be equal to minus 1.2 delta t if there are 3 d electrons in the metal ion in a spherical field environment these electrons will be here in the case of tetrahedral complex one point is to be noted that delta t is always less than the pairing energy because of that Tetrahedral complexes are always high spin. This means pairing of electrons in EG orbitals is starts only after there is at least one electron in each T2G orbital. So, in tetrahedral field, the two electrons will be in EG orbitals and the remaining one in T2G orbital. So, in this case, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Thus, CFSE is equal to 2 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 1 into plus 0 0.4 delta t. So, CFSE will become minus 0 0.8 delta t. If there are 4 d electrons in the metal ion of a tetrahedral complex, in a spherical field environment, 
all the four electrons will be here in tetrahedral field two electrons will be in eg orbitals and the remaining two will enter the t2g since there are two electrons in eg and two in t2g so x is equal to 2 and y is also equal to 2 so cfsc is equal to 2 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 2 into plus 0 0.4 delta t or cfsc is equal to minus 1.2 delta t plus 0 0.8 delta t thus cfsc will be equal to minus 0 0.4 delta t if there are 5d electrons in the metal ion in a spherical field environment all the 5 electrons will be here in tetrahedral field 2 electrons will be in eg orbitals and the remaining 3 will be in t2g so in d5 tetrahedral complexes x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so cfsc will be 2 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 3 into 0 0.4 delta t or cfsc will be equal to minus 1.2 delta t plus 1.2 delta t thus cflc will be equal to 0 if there are 6d electrons in the metal ion in a spherical field environment all the 6 electrons will be here in tetrahedral ligand field environment 2 electrons will enter eg orbitals and 3 in t2g the remaining one electron will again enter eg so x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 3 so cfse is equal to 3 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 3 into 0 0.4 delta t or cfse is equal to minus 1.8 delta t plus 1.2 delta t thus cfsc will be equal to minus 0 0.6 delta t if there are 7d electrons in the metal ion in a spherical field environment all the seven electrons will be here in tetrahedral ligand environment two electrons enter the eg orbitals and three in t2g the remaining two electrons will again enter eg so in d7 tetrahedral complex x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3 so cfsc will become 4 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 3 into plus 0 0.4 delta t or cfsc is equal to minus 2.4 delta t plus 1.2 delta t thus cfsc will be equal to minus 1.2 delta t if there are 8d electrons in the metal ion in a spherical field environment all the 8 electrons will be here in tetrahedral ligand environment two electrons enter eg orbitals and three in t2g out of remaining three two electrons will again enter eg and one in t2g so in d8 tetrahedral complex x is equal to four and y is equal to four so cfsc is equal to 4 into minus 0 0.6 delta t plus 4 into plus 0 0.4 delta t or cfsc is equal to minus 
0 0.4 uh, minus 2.4 delta t plus 1.6 delta t thus CFSC will be equal to minus 0 0.8 delta t if there are 90 electrons in the metal ion in a spherical field environment all the 9 electrons will be here in tetrahedral ligand environment 2 electrons enter the EG orbitals and 3 in T2G out of remaining 4 2 electrons will again enter EG and 2 in T2G so in D9 tetrahedral complex X is equal to 4 and Y is equal to 5 so CFSC is equal to 4 into minus 0 0.6 delta T plus 5 into 0 0.4 delta T or CFSC is equal to minus 0. Uh, minus 2.4 delta T plus 2.0 delta T thus CFSC will be equal to minus 0 0.4 delta T in the case of D10 electrons in metal ion in a spherical field environment all the 10 electrons will be here in tetrahedral ligand environment two electrons enter EG orbitals and three in T2G out of five remaining electrons two will enter the EG and three in T2G so in D10 tetrahedral complex X is equal to 4 and Y is equal to 6 CFSC will be equal to 4 into minus 0 0.6 delta T plus 6 into plus 0 0.4 delta T or CFSC is equal to minus 2.4 delta T plus 2.4 delta T thus CFSC will be equal to 0 now we will do some exercise for calculating CFSC in tetrahedral complexes suppose we have to estimate the CFSC for CO Cl4 2 minus for this first we will have to know the oxidation number of metal which is cobalt in this case the oxidation number of cobalt in this complex is plus 2 so the number of electrons in cobalt 2 plus will be 27 minus 2 is equal to 25 since the number of electrons in cobalt metal is 27 and cobalt 2 plus will be formed by the removal of two electrons to find out electronic configuration of cobalt 2 plus write AR 3D AR has 18 electrons so the remaining electrons that will enter the D orbitals will be 25 minus 18 is equal to 7 so this complex is D7 complex this is a tetrahedral complex so the splitting diagram as we have discussed earlier will be like this in a spherical field environment the seven electrons will be here in tetrahedral ligand environment two electrons enter EG orbitals and three in T2G the remaining two electrons will again enter EG so in D7 tetrahedral complex X is equal to 4 and Y is equal to 3 so CFSC is equal to 4 into minus 0 0.6 delta T plus 3 into plus 0 0.4 delta T or CFSC is equal to minus 2.4 delta T plus 1.2 delta T 
Thus, CFSC will be equal to minus 1.2 delta T. Let's have one more example in which we have to estimate the CFSC for NiCl4 2 minus. The oxidation number of nickel in this complex is plus 2. So the number of electrons in nickel 2 plus will be 28 minus 2 is equal to 26. Since the number of electrons in nickel metal is 28 and nickel 2 plus will be formed by the removal of two electrons. To find out electronic configuration of nickel 2 plus write AR 3D. AR has 18 electrons so the remaining electrons that will enter the D orbitals will be 26 minus 18 is equal to 8. So this complex is D8 complex. This is a tetrahedral complex. So the splitting diagram will be like this. In a spherical field environment, the 8 electrons will be here. In tetrahedral ligand environment, two electrons enter the EG orbitals and three in T to G. Out of remaining three electrons, two electrons will again enter EG and one in T to G. So in D8 tetrahedral complex, X is equal to four and Y is also equal to four. So CFSC is equal to 4 into minus 0.6 delta T plus 4 into plus 0.4 delta T or CFSC is equal to minus 2.4 delta T plus 1.6 delta T. Thus CFSC of this complex will be equal to minus 0 0.8 delta D. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.